Now, things that you need to remember when you do your narration. What is narration? Narration is changing a sentence which is in the direct speech into its indirect form. Now, when we change a sentence here, a sentence, it can be an affirmative one. It can be negative. It can be your interrogative. Yes. It can be exclamatory and it can be your imperative also. Imperative, optative. Now, as we change these sentences here. Like he said, said to me, I have an important meeting. Yes. Now here are things that we have. What are the things that you need to remember? There is a reported verb and there is a reported speech. This and this both will be there. Right? So he said to me, would be as he told me. Right? Okay. Then I, I remove these commas. Right? I remove this. And yes, uh, it is introduced with that. Right? He told me that. Then there is a change of pronouns. I will become he. Right? And uh, yeah, uh, here, of course, there's a change of tense. Right? We go here. Remember the tenses here also. So if you have the simple present tense, it will become simple past. Right? So if it is present continuous, past continuous. If it is present perfect, past perfect. So that way all the tenses will change, right? Then yes, that he had an important meeting, okay? So it is simple as that, okay, right? So like, uh, let's say the gardener said to the visitors, do not pluck the flowers. It's a negative sentence? Yes? It's negative also. It is an order also. Right? Okay. Now here I will make certain changes here in this sentence. Yes. The It can be ordered also or anything that you want to. Optative kiss on imperative. Uh, so it is imperative, isn't it right? So it is there an order, a request, a command. You can distribute these tests later. Yes. And here, what are the things that we need to remember? So the gardener told the visitors, right? What? Ordered the visitors, right? Ab ye yaad rakho, see, uh, it is here, what? Aas to nahi hoga. Aas to bilkul bhi nahi hoga. It is, he said, he told the visitors, he ordered the visitors. Now, this is an order. It's an imperative sentence. How do I introduce this, uh, the imperative sentence? Will I use that? No. It is introduced with to. Right? Not pluck the flowers. So, to not to pluck the flowers. Both way it is correct. Okay? Right? Okay? Or this is imperative. Okay. Imperative. Optative kya hote? Jis mein blessings hete. May you live longer. Right? May you have a healthy life. God bless you with happiness. Right? God bless you with success. Those are your optative sentences where you are having those blessings and all. A big simple negative sentence. Let us... Uh, I English so I'll write maths. Yes, so how will we change this? 
So Ram. Ram said to Jay, I don't have my maths notebook. Yes, yeah, so here it is simple. What now? This is also a negative one. That that one is also a negative. What is the difference between what is the difference that I have done in changing these sentences? Kya hai difference? Ye imperative hai, ye ek simple negative. Hai. Right? So I introduced you that. Usme maine that use kiya? No. Okay? So remember here, you can have a sentence in any form. Imperative humara negative bhi ho sakta hai, positive bhi ho sakta hai. It can be an interrogative also. Right? All these sentences, they can be negative also. They can be positive also. We can make these question sentences also. Ab yaha pe dekho na, this is a simple name. I don't have my maths textbook. That he did not have his maths textbook okay now comes the one where we Long sentence I have given you. So we'll have here, so mother said to Sam, where are you going? Carry umbrella, it might rain. Ask Sam. Okay. Now we will introduce the interrogative. Do we write that over here? No. So we just introduce it directly that where was he going? Was he going? I remove the question mark. Right? Now, this is another sentence. Two sentences are there. How will I add this? So, she further yes, told him to carry his umbrella as it might rain. Might, might he rega. Uh, advised, of course, she told him also, advised also, right? Or uh, suggested anything, it is there. Fine. So here it is. Remember, if it is, we have these sentences too. So you have to make sure that you have done the necessary changes in both the sentences. Now, where you have words like you have where, why, who, why, how. So uh, there will it not be that. Okay, and you will not put the question mark also. You will remove the question mark. Clear? Right? Now let's come to an exclamatory sentence. So looked at the valley. What's funny, Harjoban? Yes, yeah, students at home, you can also give me the answers. No, are you weak? The tourist looked at the valley and said, oh, what a beautiful sight. And exclaimed. Okay. Ex oh, oh, what do we do? Oh, exclaimed with wonder, exclaimed with surprise, exclaimed with happiness. Right? Bilkul same hi and exclaimed with wonder that it was a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight it was. Fine? Okay.
What's the problem? Yes, come on. Grandfather can request. To help him lift that box. Okay? Right? Okay. Yes, the next day, the following day, okay? Is this clear, right? So you should not make these mistakes here. So come on, let me just uh, write. Uh, now, you know, like one more thing. Of course, I hope online students, you are listening here carefully. That is, you might also get dialogue completion. This is your reported speech. You might also have dialogue completion, right? Supposing a dialogue between a doctor and a patient, right? Okay, yes, a father and a son, a teacher and a student. So maybe some dialogues are given in between and you have to complete them with sensible. Yeah, of course, yes. Now, like, uh, say, between uh, the shopkeeper and uh, a customer, okay? So one of you can come over here, Rishit, come here. Yes. Yeah, come here. Come on. Okay, you can stand over there. Now, say like it's a dialogue between the shopkeeper and the customer. You have come to the shop. You want to, you know, like buy some stationary material. Okay. So what is it like? Say I'm the shopkeeper. Yes. How can I help you? Do you want a ball pen or a gel pen? Okay, how many pens do you need? And any color? You want a blue color pen. See, simple like that, sit down. So it could be, you have to, the first line is given there, then you will have to continue. Okay, Harjoban, please stand up. Nothing funny about this. Now, suppose, yes, uh, Rishit, stand up. And now, uh, Har uh, Harjoban, you have uh, come to meet uh, Rishit and you have uh, given uh, your project to him because you are not going to go to school the next day. So please uh, tell him that please submit your project, right? So what would the dialogue be like? Yeah, I I'll start. So Harjoban, you just tell him, uh, Rishit, can you do me a favor tomorrow? Yes. Hello? So what can I what can I do for you? Rishit, you ask him? So like this, okay? So don't laugh and don't think it's so funny, but yeah, you have to do it that way, okay? Right? Yes, Shantanu, please stand up. And you are? Tejbeen? Okay, stand up. Now, this is a dialogue between a doctor and a patient. You be the doctor, you're the patient, okay? And uh, you have a stomach infection. Very funny. Come on, what would the dialogue be like? Yes? You're the doctor, you're asking the question first. What's your problem?
What did you eat yesterday? Uh, so avoid eating junk food and fried food and oily food, anything it can be, isn't it? Yes, so that kind of a dialogue, right? So you might get a question here, one is, yes, uh, this dialogue completion, that is your narration, you might have a dialogue like this only, but please don't always sit down, find the simple, easy way out. What's this, can I help you? Okay. Don't give it monosyllables, one word dialogues. One word uh, dialogue is not a dialogue. You know that. So say something, make it sound, you know, like a little bit of creativity. Okay, say supposing I'm distributing the tests. And uh, this is, uh, say, Rishit's test. Okay, so he's got 10 out of 10. So, okay, Rishit, please uh, come and take your test. Rishit has, uh, okay. Huh? Rishit has uh, scored 10 out of 10. Stand up, Rishit. How would you reply to that? Quiet. Okay. They, uh, and uh, it's nice to see that you have started working hard. No, say something more. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Right. So, uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, I will work hard at the future also for the final exam. So say something like that. Not just yes ma'am, no ma'am. This is just a ma'am se baat karte hi na. You give long lectures to ma'am only. Sit down. Okay? Right? So all these little little things that you need to be aware of. Okay? Is this clear or not? Yes ma'am. So let me see if I can find the question for you all to do. What? Do you remember the play proposal or not? So we are so focused with that only that we have uh, maybe just uh, forgotten that we have to do grammar questions also. Okay. Question paper off. You have the question paper. You didn't give the test. You didn't give the test. Come and do this. Please, you can distribute the test data. Come on, hi, Joven. Look at the questions. Lata said to Mira, do you live here? That I know, Joven. Yes, if she lived there, whether she lived there or oh, right. The driver said, Can I leave now? If he could, can will become could. If he could leave, then now will become dead or at that moment. Okay, so please remember these little, little things that you have to do. Ross at the boys, what an exciting match. Okay, so what an exciting match. What an exciting match. Okay, clear? Any doubts? Any questions? No doubts? No questions? Okay, that's good. So please.
please remember keep these things in mind.